All right, so today we'll be looking at what LGBT plus book do you really need to read? The quiz introduction, it has a full right up here, so I might as well read it. Not to be all, I'm a nerd and I know best, but I'm a nerd and I know best. This quiz is simply not for people who are 100% they are cishet, which uh, grammar is a little off there, but let's power it on in. All right, question one. First thing to do when you get up in the morning of a holiday where you don't need to do anything. The first option is put on some music, either from a playlist or on the radio. This doesn't really apply to me. When I sleep, I just play music and let it just play on shuffle all night. You know, I'm a big fan of just letting random people beam their thoughts in my head while I sleep. So yeah. Option two is go back to sleep, which I can never do. When I'm awake, I, I'm awake. Alright, so our third option is check what's up on a news app. I don't check the news directly because I'm not like 80. I just kind of like let it filter in through my social media browsing, which as we know is a great place to get your news. My fourth option is I'm always busy so I don't really know what I'd do. That's um, I just had a break from university for Thanksgiving and I spent most of it like working on school stuff so that's kind of me. Our fifth option is text my friends, which I don't have any friends, so it's a no for that one. And the last option is make myself some breakfast. Breakfast, I think, fundamentally is just, it's pretty much just always a bad idea. Like, kind of just, just waking up, you're getting yourself calibrated, and then just weighing yourself down with a bunch of food, you know? Like, I think breakfast is a social construct. So that only leaves me with one viable option here. I'm always busy. Question two is do you make art, writing, drawing, etc.? First option is why would I? The second option is trying to. The third option is not really. And the fourth option is I wish I knew how to. First off, I like how there's no option for yes. Like, based on how people typically define art, it doesn't have to be good art to be art. So, like, I do lots of stuff. I would say it's art. I wouldn't say it's good art per se, but it's, it's something. So I'm gonna be confident in myself. I'm gonna go with trying to, which is the closest to yes. I don't know why they don't just have yes, but question three is the world, which is not a question. But anyways, the first option is something I wish I could know. What do they mean by, like, knowing the world? I know what the world is. It's right, you know, it's right down there. The second option is, is cruel, which cruel, cruelty is like a relative thing. And if you're talking about the whole world, like, how can you say it's cruel, you know, like relative to what? And I think overall this option is meant more for, like, edgelords. The third option is has so much good in it, believe me. Which, once again, I think kind of wins by default. That's not, that always seems to be a common theme with these quizzes. Question four is choose your fave. Option one is Les Mis, which I saw the movie, I didn't like it. But you know, like, some time the music kind of like percolates in your mind, I guess, in the back of your mind. And I saw it again a little while ago, like a, I think they were showing some like anniversary ed edition on PBS and it was pretty good actually. Option two is Harry Potter. I think I like, I much like most people started reading Harry Potter long before JK Rowling went nuts. I don't have a problem with Harry Potter based on that. Like I think, like I think having a pre-existing attachment is perfectly understandable. I just, I don't want to shame anyone, but I kind of grew out of it. And you see a lot of like weird people on Facebook mainly, sometimes Twitter, who are still a little too into Harry Potter. So I'm going to shy away from that one. The third option is The Hobbit specifically, not Lord of the Rings, which I mean, The Hobbit's definitely good, but I don't know why you wouldn't go with the Lord of the Rings itself. The fourth option is Alice in Wonderland. Which I really like the vibe of, like, it's a shame there's so much, like, edgy Alice in Wonderland reboots, like that Tim Burton movie and that game. I, I never play the game, so I don't know if it's good or bad, but my point is, like, the atmosphere in the book, originally, 
is really good. And I wish there were more adaptations that actually captured that spirit and weren't going all spoopy. The fifth option is Bridge to Thurabidia. We read that in school, I remember, and I w I'm almost certain it was Bridge to Terabithia. I wasn't a big fan, it seemed kind of like Newberry bait to me, like I was too young to know what that kind of thing was at the time, but it seemed a bit off. I'm, I guess I'm going with Alice in Wonderland. I hope the quiz doesn't think I'm like a Tim Burton style, like edgelord because of that. Tim Burton's on Edgelord. I mean like, Edgelord is in his movie, not the man himself. You know what I'm talking about. Question five is you should be doing something else now, aren't you? Once again, the grammar is a little strange there. First option is, uh, I know, don't remind me. Our second option is, I have nothing better to do now. Option three is probably, and what about it? And option four is, why would you care? Once again, there's not an option for yes, you're not allowed to just like own up to it. And because of that, I'm feeling kind of spiteful. I kind of like the last option, why would you care? Just because like, I think that's the closest in spirit to just saying yes, which is the real answer in my case. Sixth question is I want to be. First option is someone people look up to. I don't want to brag but I'm pretty tall, so people are already looking up to me. That's a stupid joke. Option two is someone who helps others. You know, I've never been a big fan of helping other people. I like, you know, I am a big fan of just being a danger to everyone around me. I mean, I'm already a danger to myself, so there you go. Option three is safe, which I think is like the real answer here. Option four is what type of question is that? I don't know. I have no idea who I want to be. If I knew, everything would be easier. Which, I've said this before, but I know how I want my life to go. That's not me. Option five is happy, I guess. Which, I don't agree with. I enjoy being miserable solely for the sympathy I can squeeze out of other people. Because that's the only kind of social interaction I'm capable of anymore. So I'm gonna go with safe. Question seven is how much do you know about LGBT plus history? Option one is a lot, actually. Option two is not much, just basics. Option three is I don't care much about it. And option four is on a scale of one to ten, I'm probably at a five or six. I do definitely care about it, at least in some sense, because that being said, I don't really know much of anything. It wasn't like it was taught in schools where I'm from, and I haven't really done anything history related after school, so I do care about it. I think I should know about it, but the fact of the matter is I don't, so I'm going with not much, just basics. Feels kind of shameful to admit. Question eight is, do you have a best friend? And as I said before, I do not have friends. So let's move on. Question nine is, do you date? Option one is, if someone would have me, I would. Which, that's not a factor for me, because to be honest, who wouldn't want to date me, you know? I'm trying to be confident in myself here. Big part of that, apparently, is lying. Option two is, it's too complicated for an answer on a quiz, buddy. First off, I don't casually use the word buddy like that, only on very special occasions. Secondly, it's not too complicated. The answer is no because I don't like other people. Option three is still getting over someone, so not really, which is definitely not the case for me. Option four is hell no, which I am going with. Qu the last question is feelings about words. Option one is I read Oscar Wilde before bed. I do read before bed, but not Oscar Wilde. Maybe I will one day though, so that's something to keep in mind. Option two, is they're okay, Ig? They're okay, I guess. Props to all the English majors out there, I could not do that. I like reading, but I am basically not illiterate. What's like illiterate but for writing? Like, just forming thoughts on a page, I cannot do it. My head is a big blank sphere. Option three is what? And option four is... That's usually kind of what's going on through my mind, so that's what I'm gonna go with. Let's find out what my results are. I got The Raven Cycle by Maggie... 
I'll look that up. The Raven Cycle by Maggie Steve Otter, which is a series of four books, which I guess makes me four times as good as everyone else. And the write-up is... I won't even try to sum up the plot for you since you'd probably think this is another bad... Yeah, straight... <laughs> oh, young adult, not yeah. Another bad young adult straight book, but I promise I've never read a book with words that made me go this insane. Even if book one is okay in your opinion, get to book two. Thanks. Now, I'm already insane, so I don't think that would have a whole lot of effect on me, but I'm... Actually, I'm kind of curious, so I might actually read this at some point in the future. See what we got. There's a lot of books. There's nine options, which is good. I like that. I did pretty well overall. What's up with that last option, though? Like, it's nice gradient from 13% to 10%, and then it just hard cuts to two. Which is kind of crazy, but as always, five stars. And I still gotta figure out my outros.